Windows 7 allows you to create your own custom toolbars and place them here on the taskbar off on the right, uh, towards the right side of it. So if I just right click on any open area of the taskbar, you'll see up here at the top I have toolbars if I hover over that and it comes standard with a few different toolbars. I'm going to choose desktop for now and you can see it places a toolbar with a nice descri uh, descriptive text here, what it is, and if I click on it you can see all of these, these are all the icons that are on my desktop over here. Um, if any of the, uh, if I have some folders on the desktop or links to folders, you can see that those show up here as well. Um, and I can click on them or do whatever I need to do. This is really handy if, of course, if you've got a lot of windows open, you don't want to minimize them all, um, you don't want to close them. It's a quick way to get at the files and folders that are actually on your desktop. So let's go ahead and create a custom one. I'm just going to hide for the heck of it. We'll hide the desktop one, make it cleaner to watch. And so we're going to go into toolbars and I'm going to choose new toolbar. Okay, so right here you we're going to select a folder uh, if you don't already have a folder uh, we'll create one now so we're gonna say new folder and let's call it my tool bar okay and there it is right there and we'll select that as the folder and you can see now down here we have a toolbar basically empty <laughs> so what can we do well Let's go ahead and navigate to that toolbar we just created, my toolbar. And now I can come over here and I can drag and drop whatever shortcuts or files, anything we want into here. I can even go in and grab an actual file, as I said before. We'll go to documents, for instance. Let's see if we can find a graphics. Here we go. And I can do a shortcut. I can drag and drop, or I can actually move the file to here or copy it there. I think the smartest thing probably most of the time people will do is just a, simply a shortcut so you, you're not changing the organization that you have set up for your files but just to prove a point that you can do it and then I can you can see it comes up here and I click it and it opens up the file. Okay now another thing that you can do is we can actually create a folder in here so let's right click choose new folder and we'll just leave the name as, um, let's just call it tool bar one. Okay. Now in there, we can go ahead and place various shortcuts or files or whatever you want from anywhere on your PC. And so now if we go down over here, you can see that that folder actually becomes like a submenu. And I can go as many levels deep as I want to go and put as many files as I'd like in there. Another method of uh, putting uh, files or shortcuts into this custom toolbar is to simply grab it either with the left mouse button or the right mouse button to drag and drop it. Now if I use the left mouse button what it's going to do is it's going to actually move it and we probably don't want to do that. So I'm going to use the right mouse button drag and drop it and if I put it right over hovered over the text the name of the toolbar you can see the little circle with the line through it so it's telling me that's not going to work but if I move over here and just hover over the arrows that actually open up the toolbar you can see it says move to my toolbar now it's not really going to move it because I'm using my right mouse button so if I let go you'll see it gives me a menu and I can either choose to create a shortcut copy it or move it. Well if I create a shortcut I'm, what, I'm creating a shortcut to a shortcut. So I don't want to move it, I want to leave it on my desktop so it's always there too. So let's just copy it. We'll just copy that shortcut to this folder so I can get to it from there. So if I go up here and um, let's click off of that and move up a level you can see that it's actually showing up in here inside of my toolbar and if I go down over here you can see well there's the shortcut to it right there. Now you can also, of course, go in and rename your toolbar. It's not really recommended. You may want to be more organized too than uh, I am here in this video. Maybe you want to create a folder here in My Documents. Let's do new folder called Toolbars. And if you're going to have multiple toolbars, you can actually keep all of your toolbars in one place. So for instance, I've got two of them here, so I could actually drag and drop those 
in both of those into um, toolbars. And then we'll go over here and we'll right click, we'll choose toolbars and let's get rid of my toolbar. And now we're going to right click and do toolbars and we're going to do new toolbar. Now watch what happens here. We get an error message and this is because it tries to open in the last place that you had created um, a toolbar. So um, just simply click OK and you can proceed as, as normal. So in this case we're just going to back up a level. We're going to go to toolbars and we'll click on my toolbar and select folder and you can see it's here with all of the links and shortcuts in that as they were before. Now if I go back in and choose toolbars again in new toolbar I'm not going to get the error message because this folder is still here the last folder that I used. So don't panic if you see that error message. While we're in the subject of toolbars Annette I just wanted to point out too that in Windows 7 they got rid of the show desktop button that used to be or icon that used to be right over here on the left side and that's because you can go ahead and set up all your uh, favorite programs uh, to load right here but it is actually here they just moved it and changed the way it looked so if you go over here you see this bar it says show desktop so if I click on that it can make everything all your either minimize all your programs or bring them all back another cool thing you can do here is if you right click on any open area and make sure that lock tool or excuse me lock taskbar isn't checked you can grab the taskbar and drag it up, let it double in size. Now notice when I did that, the day of the week actually appeared. So I'll drag this back down. You can see it's gone. Okay, drag it back up. All right. Now I can play around with what's happening here for each of these toolbars. It's kind of fun. Um, if I go in over here and simply drag this over, well, look at that, how it shows you. Um, the options that I have in that toolbar. If I drag this over here you can see that it's showing those options and because this has another folder within it see that? That's kinda cool. So, but let's play with it even more. Let's go ahead and drag these back to the way they were. Okay, and um, I believe you can actually change the positions of these just by grabbing like this one and bringing it over and you can force it to go there. See that? And then if I grab Ken's, oops, I double clicked it, sorry. So if I grab Ken's now and move it over, it changes position again. Now what we're going to do is right click a blank area, not, not on here. You don't want to right click, you want to right click a blank area and do show text, turn that off, right click again, show title, turn that off. And look at that, we have icons now instead. And if you, as you hover over the icon, it tells you what the name of the icon is, what it's for. Um, and we'll go ahead and do it over here too. We'll turn that off. So you can just kind of play around with this and see what kind of results you get. This is the folder I had out there. So if I click that, it actually opens it up instead of letting me choose it from uh, you know a list right here. Um, so there's all kinds of effects, and you can have some fun playing around with this.